Hello YouTube. I will be showing you my version of an HD, SHTF gear or zombie survival gear. Some items can be used in both situations and some are application specific. For those of you who just tuned into my channel, PNY Prepper, I'm a prepper on a budget. Right now, I will tell you straight that what I have is not the best that money can buy but items that I bought on a good deal or on a budget like I said these are not the best and I believe that prepping is a continuous process so I have some wish lists if possible to upgrade in the future my gear so to start off knives or machetes bought this uh, in a flea market six bucks I think this part right here is made of brass and the blade is stainless for six bucks it's a good deal and it's a small machete I bought this for I think 12 bucks. This machete and this knife right here, also full, full tang, 23 bucks for both. Next. Bought this on eBay. I had nothing to do at that time. Six bucks. It's a cheap knife. This the handle is closed and sealed, made of plastic. So this knife floats on water. This is the first knife I bought. Uh, in, a, in a flea market I thought it was a good deal because they were selling this for 15 and we went down to 10 later on I found out that they were selling this at Harbor Freight for 10 so survival knife compass and some stuff inside Matches, fish hooks, this folding knife, three bucks. It's also sharp. After the knives, brass knuckle. Bought this at a, at a gun show, 10 bucks. Moving here, gas mask. I bought this two years ago. Uh, it was a good deal. I, pay, I think I paid 12 bucks each. Everybody in the family has one. Uh, I think it's great because uh, of the the rubber it's strong sturdy thick rubber but the thing I don't like about this kind of Zek gas mask MT M10 gas mask the filter is inside inside the cheek so there's no way you can change the filter while you're wearing it but the quality it's good this is a finished gas mask the filter and screw it outside you can change it so it depends on how much you get this gas mask for uh, for my wish list I plan on adding a, a German I don't know Drager gas mask if they sell it for cheap I might pick up one okay, nice. I 
Part of my gear. What will I be wearing? Okay. But it's on eBay. Camo. What I like about this camo is that the material they make for this is stronger than civilian clothes. And I think they are fire resistant. I don't know. Not fireproof. But I think they offer fire protection. And the, some pockets and the camo. Camouflage. But in an SHTF situation, I don't know if I will be wearing this, but for now, it's good. The reason I don't want to wear it is because I don't want to be identified with a certain group or militia or a real soldier. I don't want to, I don't want to be a part of anything, you know, for now. So, but for the price, I picked this, I picked this up very cheap. I forgot. Next, gloves. A pair of gloves. Amazon. I think I paid 20, 20 bucks. I chose the ones with the hard plastic knuckles. There are some Kevlar knuckles, but they are more expensive. For 20 bucks, these are good. Shoes. Good pair of shoes. Magnum Interceptor shoes. I think I bought this for. Um, it's on, it was on clearance. 15, 15 to. I know it's less than 20. Good pair of shoes. They're lightweight. And it gets the job done. Helmet. Kevlar helmet. Pass GT helmet. I bought this for an SHTF situation, not a, for a zombie situation. You won't need this. But for an SHTF situation, this is a must to protect your head. Originally, it comes with a um, camouflage cover. I took it off and just painted it black. Has some good weight. Belt. Tactical belt with a leg holster for my sidearm with magazine pouch. A multi tool bought this Home Depot, I think, for less than 10 bucks. This is a UTG belt. Oh, another knife. But it's on Amazon, I think, for 12 bucks. Last year. It's called uh, Defender Extreme. I think it's a copy of uh, an original knife. But for my needs right now, it will do for 12 bucks. It came with its own plastic sheet. And if you don't want to wear a gas mask in an SHTF situation, you will need a good pair of goggles. These are ESS goggles, ballistic goggles. So my future upgrade will be a Kevlar, Kevlar mask. I think they're selling those masks for more than a few hundred bucks right now. But this one, I got it cheap. Next is my tactical vest. Tactical vest. It's made by Diamondback Tactical Battle Lab. It's the back. The front. Grief flashlight. Okay. Uh, 
uh, tool from one of my pistols. Uh, I think it's from a Nagant revolver pistol. But you can do use this uh, pen, regular pen, ear protection, pouches, mag pouch, magazine pouch. These are my IK520 40 rounder uh, magazine, Bulgarian magazine. 40 rounds for my AR. I painted it. Originally it's black. I have two. I have more than two. Another magazine pouch. Magazine for my AR. B mags on the side. And another pouch here. I plan to put some medical uh, medical gear like surgical gear. But for now, those are inside my bag with bag. I think I'm gonna make a separate review for that. And what else do you need? Your bag outside is the plates. This is the carrier and my plates. I chose the AR500. AR500 plates. I didn't know that this these things are heavy. I think six pounds each. Six pounds each. Six pounds each. Love those gears. I don't know how I'm gonna care. So, as you can see, these two will go in the front and in on the rear. Uh, in the rear, uh, but I don't have side protection. Uh, my future upgrade will be something lighter um, like this on the shoulder shoulder pads this didn't came with a didn't come with a the vest I purchased this separately now for my weapons uh, will be different for a zombie survival I'll bring a shotgun I'm not a shotgun guy so I just purchased a Steven shotgun 12 gauge my mods uh, limb saver but had shell holder, Allen shell holder, sling, and a heat shield. For an SHTF situation, I will bring this. This is my customized AR. Ergo grip. Ergo grip on the magwell, vertical grip, mag pull backup sights, red dot, green laser, and a flashlight. My future upgrade will be on the red dot. This is a cheap NC Star red dot I bought this years ago. So I haven't upgraded my rifle yet. So this will, for SHTF situation, this, this will be my main battle rifle. So my pistol, survival situation. This, uh, this is a Heritage Rough Rider that uh, can take 22 LR, 22 short, even 22 Magnum. I have a shooting video on this gun. I bought, uh, I bought this on sale at Academy for 170 I think. And then for the zombie situation, 
this is my pistol of choice Springfield XD I wouldn't go any lower than the 9 for a zombie survival situation I just put a cheap flat pistol light in front okay. and my long range rifle of choice will be in the gun. I added a rubber butt extension for the cheek rest, wraps around the stock and the pouch. You can put ammo, cleaning tools, whatever and it shoots a, the 7.62 by 54R ammo. I added a long eye relief scope. So this is a this is a scout rifle. The scope is a two by seven by thirty-two. I think it's by aim. It's not NC star, so there you go. Thanks for watching.